Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my homemade New Orleans yakami. Now, I know it's pronounced yakami, but in New Orleans, we say yakami. Okay. Uh, this is a very popular beef soup that is served in New Orleans just about any occasion. It's even served in some restaurants. It's also known in other parts of the United States, but it is more common and more popular down in New Orleans. Um, it consists of a beef broth or beef stock. It also has beef in it, of course, like stewed beef. And it also consists of noodles like spaghetti or whatever. We top it with two boiled eggs and chopped green onions. Now, I heard some people add ketchup to, into it, but I think that's for the other parts of the United States. I've never heard of anybody adding ketchup into it down in New Orleans. I could be wrong. I don't know. Now, they claim that this is a cure or hangovers. They refer to it as old sober. Well, the thing is that I had a hangover and I never ate this. That's a true story. <laughs> but anyways, um, this recipe calls for about, ooh, I would say about 10 servings. It's, it's quite a bit and it is absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your New Orleans shakami. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need two and a half pounds of beef chuck roast, six large eggs, better than bouillon beef base, soy sauce, hot sauce, sesame seed oil, one pound of spaghetti, and for your seasonings, you will need some salt, black pepper, Tony Saturated Krill seasoning. You can also use Zatarain's Krill seasoning, or the Slappy Mama Cajun seasoning. Chef Paul Padome's Poetry Magic, and I have the link to where you can purchase these in the description box. Onion powder, garlic powder, and for our additional seasonings, you will need one yellow onion, two bunches of green onions, celery, bell pepper, and garlic. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So we're gonna get started by chopping up uh, half of a yellow onion. Now we're just gonna uh, cut this into large chunks, as you see here. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop up my green onion ends. Now you want to make sure that you have this separate from the actual green onions, okay? So we're going to chop this up first into little bitty pieces like this and go from now. Alright, and now we're actually chopping up the uh, top portion of the green onion. Now we're going to use this as a garnish. And this is how it looks when we're done. Now you could chop one or you could use the, uh, chop the other one up as well if you like, if you like a lot of green onion. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, rinse off our celery and our uh, green bell pepper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and chop two ribs of celery. And as you can see here, there large chunks. That's exactly what we want right here. Just chop it into large chunks, medium sized chunks. Now you want to make sure that you remove the core out of the center of your bell pepper before you chop it. Now I'm going to chop the green bell pepper. Now it's the same like with the onion and everything. We're just cutting it into chunks and that's it. Alright here I have uh, three cloves of garlic. I cut them in half and the only thing we're going to do here is we're just going to quarter them. All right, here I have the uh, beef roast. Now I'm going to first start off by uh, slicing the roast into thick slices. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take each slice of the roast and we're going to uh, cut it into strips. Now, if you have any fat or anything that you want to trim off, you can just take your knife and just trim that off. And this is how it looks when we're done. Alright, I transferred my beef strips into this strainer. And I'm going to just go ahead and rinse these off with cold water. Now, if you don't want to do this step, you don't have to follow this step if you don't want to. Preach your fire to medium heat. All right, here I have uh, four quarts of water into a large pot. So let's add some seasoning. We're gonna add one cup of our chopped green onion ends, the scallions, 
And to that, we're gonna add one cup of our chopped yellow onion, one cup of our chopped celery, one cup of our chopped green bell pepper, and of course, our three cloves of garlic, which we quartered. Now for our additional seasonings, we're just gonna sprinkle uh, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, about one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, about one teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Portrait Magic, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're just going to uh, give this a quick stir. Now I'm gonna cover this. Now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna just let this cook down to extract all the flavors from all the seasonings that we've added. And from there, I'm gonna let you know the cooking time once it's done. All right, it's been about 30 minutes now. And it smells good. Mm. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this I'm going to add it into this strainer with a large bowl underneath it. Now as far as the uh, vegetables and the seasonings or whatever, you can discard that, alright? Now while this is still hot, we're going to add 4 teaspoons of the Better Than Bouillon Beef Base. Just add that in here. Now I'm going to take my whisk and I'm just going to stir this until that beef base is dissolved into the water. Preach your fire to medium heat. Alright, so in our large pot we're going to add two teaspoons of sesame seed oil. Just spread that around. All right, we're gonna let this get hot for about 30 seconds to one minute. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the beef strips. Now I'm gonna let this simmer for six minutes. All right, it's been about six minutes now. As you can see, our beef strips uh, have released some liquid. That's what we're looking for. Now let's add the last little bit of our seasoning. So we're going to add about one fourth to a half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of Chef Paul Coudon's Portrait Magic, one teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of hot sauce, and one fourth cup of soy sauce. We're going to stir all our ingredients together. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pour the beef stock mixture right in there. Go ahead and give this a quick stir. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this. I'm going to let this simmer for one hour and 20 minutes or until the beef strips are tender. Preach your fire to medium heat. All right, here I have one and one half quarts of water simmering in this medium sized pot. Now we're going to add the eggs into the simmering water. You can add as many as you like. I'm adding uh, six. Six eggs all together. Now I'm going to let this simmer for 12 minutes. Alright, it's been about 12 minutes now and our eggs should be nice and thoroughly cooked. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. So let's go ahead and remove them out of the hot boiling water. Place them in this container here. Now I'm going to let the eggs cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. Alright here we have our egg. Now we're going to hit the 
top and the bottom portions of the egg on top of the counter. Now we're going to rinse the egg off with cold water. And while we're rinsing the egg off with cold water, we're just going to peel the egg shell off. It should come off really easy. Now that the eggs have cooled, I'm going to go ahead and take my knife and I'm just going to carefully cut them in half. And we're done. And after that, they're ready to be served. Preach your fire to medium heat. Okay, here I have three quarts of water into a large pot. I'm going to add about one to two teaspoons of salt. Give this a quick stir. And from there, we're going to add the spaghetti. You can add the spaghetti in there whole, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it. And just drop it in there. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. Now, I'm going to let this simmer for about 8 to 12 minutes or until the spaghetti is fully cooked. Alright, y'all, it's been about 12 minutes now, and our spaghetti should be done. Now, remember, you want to make sure that you Take a fork and taste your spaghetti to see if it's at your desired texture. Alright. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. Alright, now we're going to add our spaghetti into this mesh strainer. Caution, it's going to be hot now. There we go. Now we're going to rinse the spaghetti off with cold water. Now you don't have to follow this step if you don't want to. I'm going to place my strainer back on top of the pot. Put a lid on top. And I'm going to just let this set for about 15 to 20 minutes so that way the spaghetti could set. And after that, it's ready to be served. Alright, it's been about an hour and 20 minutes now. And our beef strips should be nice and tender. Let's go ahead and do a little quick test. Oh yeah, it's tender. It's perfect. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. Now you want to keep in mind that yes, we let this mixture cook for an hour and 20 minutes, but the longer you let it cook, the stronger the flavor. It should have a wonderful, wonderful flavor to it. Give it a taste if you want to try it out. Now you're going to let this cool off for about, I would say about 15 to 20 minutes before serving. Or for best results, you can serve this the very next day so that way the flavors can settle and increase overnight. And our soup is complete. As you can see here, I added the uh, spaghetti to the beef base mixture along with our beef strips and topped it with two boiled eggs and chopped green onions. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, New Orleans Yakami, made by a New Orleans native. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Now I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this delicious homemade New Orleans beef yaka meat. You can go to www.charlottecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can you wait? Last time to go ahead and take a bite. Oh man, look at that. The half a ball there. Mm-hmm. absolutely delicious it has a really nice beef flavor it has a little spiciness to it as well from that um, hot sauce um, the hard-boiled eggs the eggs is really wonderful it brings out all the flavors including that green onion as well it's really really good mm. I'm telling y'all try the recipe really gonna like it so until next time take care and I hope you all have a great day peace